I've already shuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. <clears throat> we'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this Four of Pentacles, and it's with the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Pentacles, it can be about holding on to things, people, money, situations, longer than is healthy, longer than is realistic. When this card appears in a reading, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and what the others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Four of Pentacles, it can point to anxiety, it can point to fear, it could be about money or clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. Now, the key here is to realize that being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. <clears throat> now, it's with this Nine of Pentacles, which is actually one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the deck. Yeah, this can mean that your financial worries, they're over for a while. And that things, in general, they'll be going better than you thought possible. So, enjoy this good energy and share your wealth, share your happiness with others. So, with this Four of Pentacles being clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, what I'm picking up for you and your person with this recent past energy is that, yeah, you could have been with someone that, wow, it felt like your problems were over for a while. It, was a, it felt like a really good relationship with the Nine of Pentacles here. If you were with this person for a while, it, maybe the connection it felt like it took off to new heights of intimacy and joy with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, yeah, it just felt like a good relationship. It felt like the problems that you two had, the problems were over. But then someone started to to cling on really tight in an unhealthy way with this Four of Pentacles. Um, or it could have been that you or your person was resistant to change. Um, because the Four of Pentacles, this man, he's on all fours. It's the card above the word pass. He's got his hands on his money and his feet on his money. If a huge brick was to fall out of the sky, I had him upside his head. He'd still be in that same position. Yeah. Resistant to change. Very firm is the Four of Pentacles. Now, for some of you, you, you your person, they could have started to breadcrumb you. In some kind of way. Just some type of unhealthy clinging. Maybe some unhealthy resistant to change or just holding on too tightly um yeah it's holding on too tight to you or you could have been doing this to them it was unhealthy clinging some type of maybe unhealthy maybe being clingy needy or like i said maybe a person just started to breadcrumb you Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up. I want to say for you and your person, it could be. It could be the same person. But I'm just looking at this case of Pentacles, which is about you. But anyway, let's get into it. What's coming up? we got the Hierophant. And it's with the Ace of Pentacles. Now, with the Hierophant, you could be searching, well, as the Hierophant, um, can be about searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend when you're called on for advice or help with some important matters. Your intelligence and your empathy puts you in a position 
to provide tremendous support. So this could be you or someone coming towards you or someone that you know. They're quick-witted, well-educated. They're a wise teacher marked by integrity. Quite frankly, they're the genuine article. The real deal, they're true blues. A true blue, they're highly admired individuals. They walk the walk, they talk the talk, and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. Now, it's with the Ace of Pentacles. Now, with this card, you could find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels, and they'll be very positive new beginnings. You could be feeling optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things should be going well. You could be starting something new very soon. This could be in the area of work or romance. It could go either way. And it's a really good thing when you get the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. The Ace of Pentacles. I, I like the picture on this card. I used to thought it was kind of plain until I um, read into it. The Ace of Pentacles is the card below the word present. You see this squirrel. He's sitting in a forest. He's in front of this huge pinnacles. Whenever you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. Uh, like I said, it looks like the pinnacles are sitting in the forest. Maybe it rained for about five days straight, nonstop. Maybe less, maybe more. But the rain finally stopped, and the squirrel was able to come out from hiding. And he's amazed at, wow, how it seems like a new day is dawn. A new day is here. A new day has, has arrived. So he's anxious about getting started on something new. Maybe just making some new paw prints because he can't find his old footprints, his old paw prints anywhere. So he's trying to figure out, should I run to the right and make some fresh new paw prints? Should I run to the left and make some fresh new, new ones? Maybe I should run up the pinnacle and just make some new paw prints there. Well, why, why don't I just run towards the camera? So it's about so many different types of new beginnings that could happen when you get the Ace of Pinnacles. A lot of fresh new starts. Yeah, like I said, I like the Ace of Pinnacles. I used to thought it was a plain card, but when you read into it, and it, it really speaks volumes. But anyway, coming up for you and your person, the higher event clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so like I said, I want to say this is your person that you have, um, that we just talked about. The clingy needy or you being clingy needy. But for some of you, it's a new person that's coming in. Yeah, or it's someone that you know already. And you're trying to reconnect. Could be. Or maybe if you're already in the relationship, it could rise to new and better heights. But what you need, it's showing what you need or what you want out of this, or what you feel you can get, is someone that's true, loyal, honest, and sincere. Maybe someone with morals. Uh, maybe someone's more traditional and ethical. That's what you get with the Hierophant. So this could be the same person that we just talked about, the recent past. Or maybe it's someone new. Or maybe it's someone else that you know that's coming towards you or someone else that you'd like to be with. You feel that you could get, um, yeah, someone like the Hierophant with this person. Or maybe you're just hoping your person could change and be more like the Hierophant, this person from the recent past. Yeah, it could go a few different ways. But let's see what the challenge brings. We got this Six of Wands, and it's with Temperance. Now, the Six of Wands, it actually signals victory. So if you're anxious about a court proceeding 
or you want to win your lover's heart, just know you will be victorious. This can indicate any kind of celebration. Maybe um, you'll be a part of a graduation party or maybe a commencement celebration. Or maybe you'll be receiving a reward for good work that you've done. The Six of Wands can make you feel really good about yourself. You could feel as if you got a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Yeah, the Six of Wands is another. It's an exciting card in the deck. It's with temperance. Now, temperance is showing that your relationships, they could be going quite well, but you might need to look at any deeper personal issues and see if or how they're standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the idea is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself, with your relationships, and with any goals and aspirations that you have. So your challenge, Cancer, Six of Wands, clarified by Temperance. So, yeah, like, I don't know, like I said, this Ace of Pentacles could be same person from the recent past where there's some unhealthy clinging. Maybe it's somebody new. Ace of Pentacles can be about new. Or just, uh, or just the relationship undergoing a new beginning. Or maybe this is someone that you, you already know that's interested in you and you're interested in them and you think that the connection can be more faithful more like the hierophant more honest sincere and true now whomever this is whoever this they want victory with you because the six of wands is about victory it's about recognition this person could like the attention that you give them. Victory and success is what the Six of Wands is about. You also get a lot of passion with this Six of Wands. You see how she's waving her wand in the air? The Six of Wands is above the word the challenge. She's waving her wand in the air. She's got all these people below her. They're doing exactly what she's doing. They're waving their wand in the air just like she is. A lot of passion with this Six of Wands. So, you might know someone that you have, that you got a lot of passion for, and they got a lot of passion for you. The two of you would be near, the two of you mirror each other. Yeah. A lot of great chemistry with the Six of Wands. You get a lot of sexual energy with the Six of Wands. There's passion and long nights spent in bed. You could be the type, whereas you need you need someone to boost your ego if you're this type, while the other person is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This type of energy is called fire of balance. Fire of balance. Yeah, so there's someone that wants to be with you. That you got a lot of passion with, a lot of chemistry, great connection. Or maybe you're trying to bring this back into your life with the person that you're with. But you realize that, yeah, it needs this type of balance. This type of balance needs to come back into the connection. Because that's why temperance is here. Yeah. Because something's off balance with the connection right now. So, yeah, this reading it is kind of all over the place because, yeah, there's a couple of few different downloads here I'm getting. Uh, it's not just a straightforward reading, unfortunately. But let's see if we can pull it together with the outcome. We got the Knight of Swords, and yeah, it's with the Two of Cups. Now, the Knight of Swords, it brings a fairly upbeat, cheerful energy. The knights can mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. It can point to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone, or if, or if you're waiting on something, you're going to like what you hear with the Knight of Swords. Yes, you will. It can point to 
travel activity, being out and about, getting things done and accomplished. So you're not feeling like waiting for anything to come to you. And that's a good thing. The Knight of Swords actually goes after their heart's desire. Now, so the Two of Cups, which can refer to romantic partnership, but that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. Yeah, this Two of Cups, it says that things are likely to be going well. You should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So the outcome, Cancer, Knight of Swords, clarified by this Two of Cups. Yeah, so... Wow, this reading is really, it's going to be scattered. Because I keep getting more than one download here. Okay, so here goes. This is what I'm, what I'm getting. Your person that... Um, the recent past energy, clingy, needy, whoever this is, comes rushing in. It's going to come rushing in to try to sweep you off your feet. Um, they could be messaging you, texting you. They're, they want, they're planning to take action. They want to, being this person really wants to be with you. Uh, they feel that, like you're their ideal mate. You're their ideal partner with the Two of Cups here. Uh, the Two of Cups can represent true love, a balanced partnership, commitment, all the things that we hope for when it comes to love and relationships. So someone feels that you're the one for them. Yeah, the Knight of Swords, you see how he has this huge sword in his hand? He'll cut out anything just to be with you. Yeah, this person comes rushing in, ready to sweep you off your feet. They see you as the ideal partner. Yeah, the perfect mate. That there's a lot of passion that they've got for you. And they could feel like you bring balance to their life. This could be the same person from the recent past. I'm not getting a, a straightforward straightforward uh, reading or it could be someone new because we got this ace of pentacles here yeah could be someone new or maybe someone else that you know um, yeah I wish I could say it's this I wish I could just give you a straightforward and tell you that it's this person from the recent past that's clingy needy or someone started to be clingy, too clingy. The Ace of Pentacles is just, is just shouting out that it could be someone new coming towards you. There's going to be a lot of passion. Could be a strong soulmate. Because the Six of Wands, like I said, the two of you will mirror each other. You get a lot of passion with the Six of Wands. You could feel like this person brings balance back into your life after being with someone that's like this Four of Pentacles, very clingy. And it's going to feel like this is the ideal mate. So I'm sorry, I have to give you more than one, more than one storyline because uh, that's what was coming. That's what was that's what I was picking up. Yeah. So, Cancer, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen to the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those. So, Cancer, I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. 
Hang in there, it's gonna pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next cancer reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, when you get these readings, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, your person or the other person could be a friend, family member, or co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Also, um, the roles in the readings could be switched. They could be reversed. So you could be them or they could be you. Your person could be you or vice versa. Yeah, so Cancer, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.